Howdy ho y'all, 57 here, bringing you another showdown live. I know it's not another uh, league match, but uh, uh, this is just easier for me to record. I've been very uh, uh, very stressed um, or had, had a lot of work and a lot of car issues on my plate. So uh, I just needed something easy to record and uh, figured this would be a good thing. I'm gonna, I may like... I'm going to talk and rant a little bit about, you know, league matches because, being honest, um, there are more, uh, there are going to be more losses than wins in the, in the upcoming uh, weeks. That's just the team I'm working on. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show off uh, this little Mawile bulky offense team I got here. I think Mawile is uh, positively broken, hence the nickname, the ironic nickname, Fair and Balanced there. Uh, this is like... Uh, I took this set from my man AJ um, with the uh, Speed Creep for Skarmory. Um, and then you got Iron Head, Thunder Punch, Sucker Punch, Sword Dance. Pretty much the, the only three moves you need. And like, you think resisted hits are switch ins, but they're they're really not. And definitely not plus two. Um, we got Superior to pair with that. It works very well. Uh, you got a special wall, you got Physical Wall Breaker and Special Wall Breaker. Um, we have a uh, kind of a stall breaking set with taunt, but then we also have uh, three attacks. Um, yeah, I like the I like the set. This is generally uh, my favorite superior set. I don't like a pure like uh, like a sub C taunt mono attack set or a like all out attacker superior as much as like kind of combining taunt three attacks. Um, we got Zapdos with um, it's meant to be a kind of a physical pivot. Uh, it's actually pretty good in the meta game, which kind of surprises me. Like it was kind of hanging around the lower end of uh, OU last gen. Uh, this is speed creep for um, like a. I know Gliscor runs the speed creep. This is for oh, it's um. Yeah. Oh, it outspeeds uh, max speed Celesteela. And uh, we'll get us the jump on tank landos and uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, got a good old uh, type of Bulu here. Um, four attacks, um, leftovers because it's got a lot of HP, and the number isn't like a you know, why not being like a life orb number. And uh, I don't want to just throw a band on it when I don't have wood hammer. Uh, but we are adamant, enough speed to outspeed um, a new, like a neutral or like a slightly speed invested Venusaur, just like a Venusaur or speed creep, so we could get the uh, the jump on him with a Zen headbutt. Got Starmie, bulky Starmie, like you know, one of my probably my go-to set on Starmie, and then we have Tyranitar. Um, very bulky set on both sides. Um, ICMZ Ice Beam, because uh, that uh, you know gets nice uh, nice surprise kills on Lando and Garchomp. So that's the uh, that's the rundown of the team. Get right into some battles. Uh, I've been laddering a bit with this. I think I'm sitting like either high 13 or low 1400s. I'm pretty sure. Um. I hate Hoopa U, guys. That's it's broken too. It's just not the most broken thing right now, but it needs to be gone by the end, by really soon. Well, soon after, soon after Greninja, Mega Mawile, Me Mega Metagross. It's probably gonna go after a Lele suspect test, but I don't think Lele leaves unlike a lot of people do. So at any rate, um. Uh, Anticipating Lando Tran, probably Scarf Lando. We're just gonna lead uh, Starmie here. If I get the better of him. If he leads Finny, it's not a big deal. Got a got switch into that. But yeah, while he waits to make his move, I'll just I don't know. My frame of mind's been kind of kind of down lately because I. I hate I hate losing guys. I did not get enough like fucking millennial soccer trophies or whatever. 
fucking always says that. I I don't know, man. I it's got to me, and I've lost a lot lately. Uh, I need to get. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spoil some things that the WNBA season for me is. Uh, it turned out to be a wash. We ended up negative from missed playoffs, and uh, I, I'm not happy. I wasn't happy with my team by the end of it. Like I, it was a mix of me drafting things I was comfortable with last generation. I'm gonna turn the timer on this guy. Okay, never mind. So anyway, let's click a scald there. It's pretty. That's you know, pretty much always a good play. He's gonna go into Finney. Actually, we're going. Oh. Right. This is Gen Seven. Uh... Um. We're going. To, we're going to this in Superpower Rank. He's gonna see the obvious play there. Uh, but uh, yeah, that that play kind of sums up my uh, my WA day season there. I kind of you know I hadn't adapted to Gen Seven. Didn't have I didn't use a lot of Z moves, and the ones I did were like kind of cheeky, like Z Sunny Day Miss Magius when Taunt would have just done its role better. Like I really want, I've been really wanting to use Miss Magius for like a, a couple drafts now. I felt like, oh yeah, it's the team to do it on. Uh, all right, going. Uh, he didn't show life orb damage, so we're gonna assume his choice locks of some sort. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the risk, guys. All right. Really quickly, just uh, just for kicks, see if a sucker punch gets us the. That's us the kill on Lando T. Let's assume uh, maybe uh, maybe since Lando is offensive, he is uh, a defensive set. Sucker punch is not a one shot, uh, but we are on grassy terrain, so we can actually just iron head and have no repercussions there. He doesn't really have a clean switch into this. Zapdos is his best bet, but I think this is shit. I figured that'd be like a two shot. <laughs> Bro, Mega Mile is gonna get another kill. This is an inevitability. And uh it's not even funny. Alright, that's like a tank set. You know it? Get netted the sucker punch kill. Um, second punch is still nice for Hoopa. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it out there. See if he made double, but oof. All right, he's found himself locked into the knockoff. No reason not to pursuit. Knockoff's gonna do negligible damage, but yeah, like I'll tell you guys, like now. All right, going back to the WNBA draft topic. <sighs> Kerbominable is not good to use outside of like a dedicated trick room team. And uh, Lycanroc. Lycanroc is disappointing, man. It has a neat design. It has sand rush. It has a lot of things that I like just outright. But it's... Uh, unfortunately... Oh, thank goodness I went to the uh, the physical attacker here. But, unfortunately, it just, like, it does not get the coverage it needs. It has a it has a decent attack stat, but you gotta... But, I don't know. 
think so, guys. Also, like... <sighs> Tell you what, man. I need... I feel like I need to, like... Part of me says I really need to, like, really get back to doing Pokemon more. And other parts of me say I need to really cool off it. And I don't know what would be... I don't know what to listen to. I don't know. Should do... Oh no, my special attack. Whatever am I going to do? Uh, we are going to let this die. Trantar could 1v1 this, I think. Oh man. Horn Leech. Hmm. Uh, Alright, he forfeited. Good game, guys. We are at... Oh, we're only in low 1300s. Must have mixed up something. Okay, we're gonna look for another battle, guys. We're gonna see if we get, like, a good couple battles in. I do want to try doing, like, a good number of these. These are pretty, like, fun, simple. I make a lot of ladder teams. I want to do, like, a nice different one. Throw on, like, a Gen 2 episode in there. Anyway, uh, last year my philosophy was people who have Rotom Wash pretty much always lead with Rotom Wash. So Superior covers both our options of Rotom Wash and Lando as likely leads. Hell, if he's like, I'm going to get his, you know, whatever the fuck lead, I'm going to lead Finny. Alright. Um, there is no winning scenario for him here. Like, Bulu is his best bet. I'm going this, and I'm going HP Fire. There we go. And down for the count. If he goes to Bulu here now, I'm going to I'm gonna have to switch out. Um, okay, so we're thinking this through. He gives us Grassy Surge. I am intrigued. I'm intrigued. Has glare on there twice. Uh, let's see, Lead City, that would be a bulky set. That would be the most able to take us on. But we are at plus two. Ugh. It's in grassy terrain, but if he is not HP invested... Hmm. Hmm. He could hit me with the Mega Horn. You know what? I'd really love to keep that around. This does a lot of work to his team. Man, man, I wish I hadn't switched out now. Now that, that wouldn't have done anything. and I would have gauged his set for sure. Uh, we're going to Toxic. No reason not to. Uh, okay, this has to be his rocker. Um, either he tries to go for rocks here, or he tries to get a U-turn. I would outspeed him, because I have a nominal speed creep if he's a bulky set, so I'm going to toxic. Hmm. That's an interesting, uh, interesting play there. Going to bulu bulu bulu. He doesn't have a lot of good switch-ins to this. This team generally doesn't really seem to have like a lot of good switch-ins. I think he may think it does. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Bulu versus Bulu. Bulu, 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 rocking everywhere. Oh, that is what I feared. We're going to Roosticle. Anticipating a Stone Edge. And uh, then we're going to Roar. And he's... Uh, he's not going to go for anything. He's too scared. So anyway. Um, anyway, here's Wonderwall. 
<sighs> I'm scared of I'm scared of him throwing out Z move, but I'm not I'm guessing it's non existent at the moment. Okay, this is Protean. I'm willing to sack this. Uh, okay, Mega Ma Wild deals with this, though. Fuck! This is why Greninja needs to get super banned. All right. Uh, do I assume he's a spike set, or you know what? Tarantar takes him on. That's like the weird world we live in, guys. Where like I need Tarantar to be my Greninja answer. Welcome to Gen Seven. All right. We got some chip damage on him. Fuck! Crit! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Alright, since he's Sword Stance Bulu, we know who we for sure have to speed him with this. Ha! He activated my trap card. Uh. Alright, so is seeing if he is Scarfed more valuable than our superior at the moment? I think the answer to that is no. Because superior, if Superior comes in for free, he can take on Rotomosh and Vinny. And otherwise, well, we have Zapdos for that. And we have a healthy Zapdos at that. Alright, Scarf Lando. So he has he just doesn't believe in rocks because he's a fuckwad. If I lose this guy, I'm going to be mad. I, I don't like losing to like dudes who believe in non-standard shit like not running rocks or shit like that. Fuck him. Fuck all y'all. Go on Sub Zero Slammer. If he's all out pummeling, fuck everything that ever runs all out pummeling, guys. Fuck it. Like, gah. Ugh. There may be nothing more annoying. Ah, uh, gonna roar. That was a good chunk of damage there, sir. But, uh... Hmm. I'm risking this. As Ice Beam, he may not have a Dark Stab to go on. Because I think what... Because Hydro Pump is generally the better coverage to run. Fuck. Bulky Starmie does nothing. Some manzy pansy ass fucker. <sighs> this annoys me to too high a degree. All right, so he misplayed there, and we got a rusticle off. So Starmie can take on Greninja because, of course, it can. He doesn't have Stone Edge, so... Whew! There we go. We start clicking Thunderbolt on things and, uh... Start winning the game eventually. I'm gonna Roost, I think he's faster. No. We're on Toxic. We are faster than him. It's handy. That doesn't help him all that much, so... Um, as long as we keep Starmie alive for Greninja, we have a very real means of winning this. We outspeed Bulu. We outspeed Finny. Yep. Alright, and... <sighs> Unfortunately, Zapdos can't directly switch into this. Uh, 
Starmie may be able to like recover stall and take these guys out. So we that is what we have to risk as our uh, as our best course of action. We're going to roost. He's going to sword stance. Fuck. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not right. Right. Not in. No. No. I do All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to take a phone call, Which, uh, and I don't have the editing power to cut that like fucking amount of dead space out. Um, for the sake of like good numbers and a call, I'll try to get another battle in. If it's gonna be a long one, <laughs> all right, we're gonna try to do it quickly. So, superior lead. Actually, Starmie lead, because Marowak, Alolawak is also very likely. Turn the timer on this man, because people tend to move a little quicker if like, they see the timer going on. But, yeah. Um, now I'm, I'm kind of throwing off my uh, mentality there. Ah. Uh, well, oh, sorry. It's not very. It's not a quality move on my part. Hope this, hopefully, this isn't a like a million years to take his turns type of guy. All right, reads. We can read. If he has Willow, is it's a uh, slightly dangerous, slightly edgy. But rocks are useful to get up, so. Mm, no, we're going to pursue him because we have the uh, we have the luxury of getting rocks up on pretty much anything that comes in. No, we're going to use Z-move. We're going to Z-move him. Clean. Fresh and clean. Yep. Tritar is a very underrated Z move user, guys. This is a fact. Just better believe it. Uh, we're going to go into Bulu. We're going to need uh, Zapdos to be at Stella Steel check and maybe 1v1 Finny. So we don't, we don't want him to, we don't want her to have to deal with too much there. Stone Edge is a good middle ground play. If he goes to meta. It is not a good middle ground play. All right, we don't need Tarantar super badly anymore. That is less than ideal, but that is less than ideal. <sighs> I'm gonna try to roar him out. If he gets a, if he gets like a kill on Zapdos, though, I think that's pretty much game. That's the that's the meta we live in.
All right, you missed a Zen head, bud. And uh, we're in business, ladies and gents. We're going for Bulu for the middle ground switch in. And stop. Mm. Our best bet's gonna go is gonna be go to go into Starmie and to get a Scald Burn. And I hate that we're I I didn't think Metagross was broken because I didn't think because I didn't think the speed boost game from last year was too bad. But like the fact that, you know, on a more like on a more bulky offense balance oriented team with a lot of bulky pivots, you're basically forced to make sacks anytime it gets in. And that's just the the reality of it. We're gonna we need to make an aggressive play. Get make a mawile in. Not really much he could do to us. Um, we got a sword stance. I don't see a particular reason not to. He doesn't have a lele to stop a sucker punch. If this thing sweeps, then uh, we're in business, ladies and gents. This very well could sweep. Move, bitch. Get out the way. All right. Thunder punch. Moment of truth. Also, moment of truth. Yeah. He is faster than us. He is not. Moment of truth came through. Um, uh, I got an iron head because I have speed him, and he's gonna will it with otherwise. Now he's gonna think we don't have sucker, maybe, or he's realizing he's lost. Woo! All right, so we got a nice quick match in at the end there. I am happy. I got to show Mega Mawile's uh, power. I got to stay in the 1300s. Um, so yeah, guys, um, I don't know if I was, you know, the best personality, if I was that engaging or whatever, but if you liked it, cool. I'll be happy. Stay woke, y'all.